morning folks so today guys i want to talk about this irritating issue with this car specifically small issue where the gear lever let me just start with it i'm gonna engage the first and second gear can you hear this annoying noise this squeak so today guys i want to show you how i'm gonna fix it so we're, first of all, we're going to start off by removing this leather cover. So I'm going to grab and gently, don't put a lot of force into it, and gently remove the leather cover. So we're just going to unfold it. And you can see what's really going on here is, is you got this. Can you see this? plastic part this plastic bit you can see my light mm. so you got this plastic bit rubbing against this bit and it creates a squeaky noise and that is quite irritating so how are we going to fix it so today guys i want to show you what product i'm going to use in order to remove it i'm going to use these WD-40 specialist PTFE. So this is a lubricant, and not only it's a lubricant, it's also meant to be used on plastics. So I was advised not to use regular WD-40 because it might dry on you, and it might make the wor um, case even worse because it dries out the surface. I don't know about that, but I know that this particular WD-40 is formulated to lubricate certain surfaces like glass vinyl rubber and plastic in this particular clay case we have plastic so what are we going to do what we're going to do is this is just a really really tiny gap down there what i'm going to do first of all i have some cloths in hand before that <clears throat> what we really need to do is i'm going to degrease this gap here and uh, with some APC just to clean it out a little bit so that bonds a bit better to the plastic surface. So I'm going to spray some all purpose cleaner on this. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to wipe it down. So I got the edge of the paper towel um, soaked in an APC. And what I'm going to do is, is gently glide through it. I'm going to clean it up, just that gap here, I got some dirt, maybe some bits of plastic that got robbed off against there, I don't know, just some kind of gunky stuff, maybe wear my tear, I'm going to use the same, uh, I'm going to use the dry side of my uh, paper towel just to dry it out. So it's now it's dry and uh, it's going to test it out. It still squeaks. So what we're going to do now is I have a clean, another clean paper towel. Just make sure you use a proper paper towel. Don't use toilet paper. It will quickly break down. This is a proper paper towel. It will hold on to liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this WD-40. And uh, by the way, guys, what I would do is I would suggest what we're going to do this. We're going to do first, we're going to listen to the instructions. We have to shake it well before we're going to use it. And this is advised to be used on the surface spray directly to the surface which we're not going to do today because i don't want any overspray and just to make it a bit more safe and not to get any overspray and don't make it a lot of easier so i'm going to do it outside of the vehicle shake up this can pretty well i like the use of this motion and by the way don't don't use it on your clove as well I might not be able to remove so i'm just gonna so I saturate this cloth 
So I got this cloth saturated in product. And uh, what I'm gonna do is sit down here and work the product in. I don't mind getting it slightly over other bits of the uh, other bits of the vehicle other bits and other vehicle I mean like other bits of plastic here it's actually really nice condition there but I don't mind that so it's not gonna do any harm because it's meant to be used on plastics so I'm just gonna get it down there trying to put as much product as I can one wipe down the axis so see what we get now no squeaking as guys whatsoever remember how much squeak he made it was squeaking now i feel that the surface is well lubricated it just glides through now so yeah shout out to wd-40 the specific one it's not expensive i got it for eight pounds in amazon because probably last you for ages i'm gonna make a separate video i'm gonna use it on my um door seals and whatnot so no squeak whatsoever just gliding this smooth so guys thank you for watching the video like and subscribe and uh last thing we really need to do is just put the cover back be gentle with it you can easily break it but it moves it removes is it, rem easy to remove and this is i don't know whether it's a common car that this issues occur but this is a toyota by the way it's a 1.3 it's a six speed i don't know what it occurs in other five speed gearboxes and the one liter ones or on the diesel ones don't know but or on other vehicles in that matter I've never had this issue on other vehicles so yeah guys this is how it is anyway thumbs up like and subscribe and uh, put a like on the video and like and comment thank you